Terraria is home to many things, even dark magic, and this is how the Merfolk challenge began. An evil wizard has cast a spell upon you, turning you into a Merfolk, so you have to learn to adapt. You can no longer breathe when you're on the ground, but you can breathe in water, so you're going to have to use that to your advantage. It's time to start flooding your world and getting ready, because you're going to need to prepare yourself for hard mode. Only then will you be able to find the wizard who did this and free him from his crimes in the dungeon. Are you guys ready? Because I am. Welcome to the Merfolk Challenge, people. Let's swim. Okay, so if you have never seen the Merfolk Challenge before, well, let me explain it. Basically, an evil wizard has come and has cast a spell on you, and so that you need to become a Merfolk. No, you are a Merfolk. You don't need to become one. You're already you're already a Merfolk. All right, blah, blah, blah. let's start again. <laughs> okay, so if you've never seen the Merfolk Challenge, then welcome. It's actually quite a famous challenge because it's been around for so long, and the rules are pretty much going to be the exact same as the original. You have to always wear the fishbowl and the Neptune shell, and then that way you drown when you're out of water. And the purpose of this is to free the evil wizard who did this to you so you can get him to reverse the curse. So basically what we essentially have to do is kill the wall of flesh with this uh, with this little disease that we have. Alright, let's call it a disease. We've got a disease. It's an evil wizard and he's, he's cast it on us. And basically it's going to be a big pain in the bum because it takes forever to do all the mining and stuff. But I'm really looking forward to this one because... It's one that I haven't actually fully done before, and now there's not many challenges that, that can be said for because I like I did a lot of these free when I was like not even a YouTuber, so it's definitely going to be interesting, and so I'll have to adapt my skills. The rules are going to be the same from the original, which is essentially don't take off the helmet, but we are going to be taking off the helmet at certain points. I feel like for the boss fights, uh, like the Eye of Cthulhu, uh, not the Eye of Cthulhu, the Brain of Cthulhu, I want to uh, be prepared enough so I can take it off, if you know what I mean. So for that fight, I will most likely take off, um, take it off. If we have, uh, if we have Brain of Cthulhu, obviously we don't know if we've got Corruption or Crimson yet, do we? Okay. One of the things also that's going to be a problem is sight. We need to be able to make sure we can see, as that means we're going to have to kill some jellyfish. Okay, so we've managed to find a chest, and what is inside? Shoe spikes. Uh, they will help us if we need to get out of a situation. We also have recoil potions, so that'll take us to spawn. Some swiftness potions. And bombs. Wow, that's a lot of bombs. That's actually going to be such a good asset later on. Awesome, we can also take this chest. So we're in the ice biome now. Um, the plan is essentially, at the moment, to just stock up on some items for a boss fight, no matter what boss fight we're going to have. Uh, and then once I feel like we're properly equipped, we shall take to the bosses. And uh, obviously, depending on what uh, corruption or crimson we have, we'll see what we do. Awesome. Okay, so a little status report on how much we've mined. I managed to find this big vein of water at the top here, and as you can see, so this is where we started. I came down here, I've managed to source this all around here, into here, this is where we found that original gold chest. Uh, there was nothing over there of interest. And then I've managed to just mine down, and I've found so many different pools of water. So there's one here, one there, one there, one there, one there, and obviously this opened up into a big area as well, that we pretty much should be set on water until we get to hell obviously hell will be at least around here i don't think it's much more off because hell's quite large at the bottom but yeah it's definitely an interesting turn of events i haven't found much ore though and that's my problem so once this kind of elevator is set up it will give us a nice little route into all these caving systems and then from there what we can do is we can branch out onto each side here obviously there's a lot here and there's a lot there because we're still in the center of the map really and we should be able to get some good ores and stuff on that way so i'm going to keep this going like i said until we get to hell and then I'll start thinking about which ways we want to go. Okay, so what I've managed to do is I've managed to finish off the elevator. So as you can see, it goes down here and it carried on all the way up there. All the way going, all the way going. And thankfully we had enough water for this. And obviously, like I said, this is where we started here. And uh, I built these three little houses, right? So the, the, well, at least the plan is one for the guide, one for the merchant, and then one for the nurse. Because we've already used a heart container and I've just found another one. Lots of amethyst there, but I've just noticed that we have this kind of cave system going on here So I really want to explore that out um, It seems like we might have something down here a little bit of blue. I'm not sure what that is yet But uh, yeah, it should be interesting. So probably what we'll do is we'll go this route here 
as you can see last time I was here it was all full of my water and stuff like that we'll carry this down and you know what I mean we'll carry that down and then we'll go see what this is right here and that looks like some kind of building but obviously I don't think it really looks like that but yeah so that's pretty interesting and I was really surprised that water in a house like this actually works um, what I did was I just drained the water out slightly enough so that I can put a torch at the top but otherwise this room was completely full so hmm. see our spiky shoes coming into action alright so that's the plan at the moment I've also made some little tools uh, I made an iron broadsword and our crafting equipment is there at the bottom and I put it at the bottom so it reminds us that we need to be underwater when we're crafting because I can imagine that we'll we might die if otherwise um, so yeah this is it this is the materials that we have obviously we're really low on um, ores compared to what I usually have when I'm doing this kind of thing and uh, we really need to focus on that so yeah that's that's it so far it's not been too long into the challenge I'm still feeling quite alert and I'm still really enjoying it to be honest it's quite fun to do these little tunnel systems I feel like a right dwarf okay so a lot of stuff is starting to take form for one we actually have our NPCs now and uh, I got a little bit crazy with the with the waterfall again and I dug down to hell because why not <laughs> But uh, we still need to get ores and we still need to fight a boss. This is the problem. So I did a little scouting on the top of the world as well at one point, And it doesn't seem like we can really uh, like navigate up there. Um, because of the lack of mushrooms. Obviously, oh, Lack of mushrooms. What am I doing? The lack of water, obviously. So we need to find out whether we're corruption or crimson. And one of the ways we can do this is to use this pool here. And maybe connect it with that. And just mine our way this way. And hopefully that will give us a clear route either way. Because this is uphill, so it's going to be hard to like get up. Okay, what do we get? A suspicious looking eye. That's really going to move things along a bit. Okay, an unpleasant uh, boomerang. Probably use that to sell. Not really big on the boomerangs. Some more gold bars. That's going to be perfect. A piece of dynamite. Some night owl potions. They're going to really help. Uh, don't really need the mushroom seeds. And some more torches. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty good loot for both sides. Okay, I'm going to try something out that I've never tried before. Um, it's obviously not time, time, night time yet, but we, I want to use the suspicious looking eye here. I want to fight here. With, uh, I'm going to set it all up a bit, put some more lights up and stuff like that, but I want to try fight it underwater. I've always wanted to try that, so I'm going to give it a go. Okay, so that's what I'm planning now. Okay, so I went back to the house, built this little stadium, put lots and lots of glow sticks around, um, and we should be good to go. So let's take a few potions. Okay, hopefully this works. there we go okay we got some demonite all so that means that we're a corruption we're a corruption world right okay corruption 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 hmm okay we found one shadow orb so let's smash this and it's in water thankfully and we got a musket uh, that's gonna come in handy um, if we buy a gun to fight the wall of flesh that will come in handy but other than that it's a horrible pickup uh, I really don't like the musket. So the plan is to just keep moving up, see what we can find. This is probably the, it's probably just one of the chasms 
Uh, one of multiple, obviously. I think there'll be more that way. And we'll just see what we can find. Um, hopefully we get enough to spawn the boss. Because that would be pretty cool. We just need an area of water. That's what that's one of the more priorities right now. And usually you don't have a lot of water in a corruption. It's just the way it goes, usually. Mm. Archery potion. Uh, swiftness, I'll take it. Night Owl, I'll take it. Iron skin, sure. Regen, sure. Did I take that? Cool. Okay, and hopefully that sets them off. There we go. Somebody said that Trine needs victory music. I thought it was a really good comment. So uh, I'm going to edit some in in a second. Because <laughs> uh, obviously I record these and I edit them later. So I don't know what song I'm going to use yet. But I'm just thinking about it. I'm going to get some really, some really upbeat, cheery, winning music. Because we need it. <laughs> Hopefully it's playing right now. Ah, victory music. <laughs> so we're doing alright. We're doing we're doing pretty good. Alright, we're on, we're on ball. All right, we'll probably do one more of them fight. We'll do one more of them. One more of that fight. Right, and we'll do that by um, doing a similar method or whatever. I might show that, I might not. And then it's working on stuff for hell, right? Because we're going to need to... God of Invasion. We're obviously going to go to hell and fight the Wall of Flesh. And then we need to go onto the surface again, go to the dungeon to go get the wizard. Yeah, you, you guys get me. All right. Okay, let's go see what we can craft with this stuff. Okay, so I've thought of a little bit of a strategy for hell. I've sold all of our gold... Um, pretty much all of our gold, all of our ores, pretty much. And what we're going to be working on is the top of the world, right? We're going to be working on, um, obviously, uh, you know, what can we do at the top of the world? And the reason why we have to do this is because, one, we're going to need to go to the end of the world, right? We're going to need to go to the, the desert or whatever because we're going to need some stuff for some potions because, obviously, we're going to need breathing potions for this wall of flesh fight because, otherwise, we just can't do it. I had an idea, but it just doesn't work, and it was that we could use obsidian skin under the lava, but that doesn't work because it doesn't activate your gills potion, so it pretty much means that you drown underwater anyway. Um, or, yeah, it, it's weird, it's weird. So um, we're going to have to get some breathing potions just for the fight, and we're just going to be using the same mini shark method, really. Um, it seemed to work out in the past, and plus, I can't really... Uh, I don't know, maybe we could do a different route. If we find a water bolt uh, when we find the dungeon or whatever, I'll take the water bolt method and we'll look for stars on the surface. But if not, um, we'll do the mini shark method. All right, so let's go see what the surface has to hold. Okay, we made it. Uh, I very almost died about, I don't know, pretty much all the way I almost died. It was literally just, I was having to heal um, all the way here, pretty much. Just constant healing and then waiting in a little pool of water and then so I could heal again or whatever. Oh god. It was it was pretty manic. And already there's a shark. It's alright though. We're uh, we're one with the fish. We should be alright. I did see a little angler as well. I saw a little angler at the top of the world. I thought that was quite cute. Um obviously I play beta a lot. Right, and uh, it's probably worth mentioning, so a lot of people ask me stuff like this. Um when I try things out, they're not fully done yet. Because obviously I'm playing beta, so when I say try an angler, right, the angler's already there for me to try. It's not like I don't have to literally go out looking for it. Um, there's this little bit of a uh, little bit of knowledge for you. So like, I've never actually seen the angler at the top of the world. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Water bolt, water bolt. There it is. Yes, we got one. We got water bolt. Yes. Uh, I knew we'd die before then, though. <laughs> but we got one. That's awesome. Okay, now we need to get some stars. Um, so that probably means doing another little run back. Oh, that was tense. I really didn't think we'd get one then. Whew. Also, one accessory I've just realised that we have is uh, we have a jellyfish necklace, um, which is perfect for this challenge. So if you try and get yourself one of them, um, you should be in for a good time, obviously. Let's just check the brightness. Obviously, it'll be a little bit darker for you guys, but 
That's a lot better than what I was getting, if you know what I mean, without holding something. So I'm really content with that. Nice one. Uh, I didn't even realise we had that. I was just doing a quick inventory checking, but there's some stuff. And uh, when we were in the bottom of the world, I think we got that, and we got a, a breathing rod, obviously, I've been that. But yeah, it's not bad. Not bad loot at all. Okay, so what I've done is I've expanded the house. Now, I've done this so I can get a demolitionist or an arms dealer or something like that to help us along the journey. And I also crafted them gills potions, so we'll have uh, we'll have one in a minute and see if it works. The plan is to use them to uh, kind of flood hell. Uh, not really flood hell, but to build in hell, and then we can use them during the boss fight, if you know what I mean. Um, I, I'm, I'm quite anxious for it. I'm looking forward to it, at least, and I'm glad that we can do it this way. Um, it's just a shame that we have to use breathing potions. Like I said, the, what, the method I was going to use used to work back when the challenge was made. And so, obviously, now it's a lot different. It's 1.2.4. And so, if you guys actually have a better idea, because obviously water um, evaporates in hell and such like that, um, be sure to let me know in the comment section below, obviously, for other people that want to attempt this challenge. There are a lot of people trying to do the Drow Elf challenge, and you guys seem to do pretty good at it. And as some of you did it in multiplayer, and that's what I really like. I really like it when people do stuff in multiplayer. Okay, so that's the plan. Uh, let's go put it into action. Uh, I probably won't show the building of hell because, like I didn't in my last one, it takes a long time. It's quite boring, really. You don't really do much other than build. Um, it's kind of more of a pain in the ass, really. But we'll do it anyway. Okay, let's begin. Alright, so the elevator is pretty much done. Uh, let's just take a look at it. Yep, yeah, it's it's done. Not the elevator, the hell road. Uh, and I came back and we have this little travelling merchant, right? And I want to try a katana. Right, because I've never tried them. How, how fast actually are they? Fairly fast, like the Muramasa. Um, what else do they sell? He sells ammo box, can be placed, reduces ammo usage by 20%. That's not bad at all. That does save you money in the long run. Obviously, we're not going to buy one because we need to buy the actual gun first. But, yeah, it's pretty interesting. Um, but, yeah, we're going to work on selling some stuff. Uh, obviously, you've got a chest full of stuff behind that dryad or whatever. And uh, buying the mini shark and getting to town on this thing because we need to hurry up and do this. <laughs> We've got one more boss fight after that as well. We also have Skeletron, don't we? So, whew, got our work cut out for us. It's going to be fun, though. Definitely going to be fun. Once that dryad moves so I can get my stuff. <laughs> okay, welcome to what should be a thrilling conclusion to this series. Obviously, we still have to find the wizard after this, but we're going to do the Wall of Flesh. And then I've set up a little area where we can fight Skeletron straight after, and you'll see what I mean after we're done. Uh, I'm using just a slew of items. Um, I'm mainly going to be using the Water Bolt and the Mini Shark, but I'm also going to be using Dynamite. So, that's it. I'm excited. Okay, um, let's throw this in. Uh, I'm not sure if there's lava underneath, hopefully so. Jeffrey was slain. So where's our wall of flesh then? Hmm, have we got a bugged out world? I'm beginning to think we've got a bugged out world. <laughs> okay, uh, I didn't look at any bug reports, but we're going to give it one more try. Because uh, I'm hopeful. Right, I'm hopeful. Okay, come on. Right, heal up because... No wall of flesh. Great. <laughs> Oh, this is a uh... <laughs> this is stupid. Oh my god. Okay, F third time lucky. Hopefully, third time lucky. Okay, we don't need Splunker. Bam, 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 bam. And I only just realised that walking water potions actually let you walk on water again because that wasn't a thing. I need to put the helmet back on because I've been waiting here for the guy to spawn. Uh, there we go. Okay. Please work. Oh no. Great, we have we have a literally a bugged world. <laughs> that really screws over challenges. Hmm. So let me think, right? What can I do as a happy alternative? What we can do is we can kill Skeletron, right? So we kill Skeletron like we would have done anyway. We would have done the Wall of Flesh, and then we kill Skeletron and then found the wizard, right? How about this? We kill Skeletron and we believe that we found the wizard, right? <laughs> I honestly believe that we could have done it anyway. Um, but yeah, this was the plan to uh, kill the wall of flesh, um, which obviously isn't working, and I'm really sorry about that, guys. Um, and then use the recall potion like this. Come to the yeah, see, see, it's up this little home right next to the ocean. I was going to wait until it was night time, and then we we're going to have an awesome boss fight. So how about we just do that, guys? Because it's a happy alternative, and uh, I'm really sorry that this challenge messed up. Ah, <laughs> I worked hard on this as well. It's a bit of a shame, really. 
Oh god. <laughs> okay, so let's do this. Ah, that's such a shame. Yes, curse. Let's get rid of that gills potion. Because we don't need it anymore. Okay, so here was the plan. To just kind of take it to, uh... Take it to the water. Like so. And then see what we could do with it. <laughs> it would be a lot like this. Uh, I think for next video, um, because we've had it twice in a row now, um, the voting system's going to change for one week, and I'm obviously going to take challenges off the rotor for one week. Um, so then that way I can carry on with something new next week, so I can do a top five, uh, a review, um, or a build-off or something like that. But that way we don't have to keep doing the exact same video all the time around. And there's our guide again, Asher. Hmm, hello, Asher. Tell me why my world's broken. Oh, God. But yeah, that's about it for the challenge. I hope you all enjoyed. My name is James, and it's a shame that it broke, but I'm blaming Terraria, not me. I'd have killed the Wall of Flesh, I swear. <laughs> okay, guys. Thank you all for watching. Peace.